morning everyone i thought i'd start off a new vlog today and do a little weekend vlog happy friday i feel like friday kind of classifies as the weekend um anyway i just wanted to vlog today as well as weekend but I was actually planning on filming last night as well because I went and did contrast therapy for the first time but I totally forgot my camera so in the end I ended up just like vlogging a little bit on my phone but I really want to include that footage because I was just so proud of myself so I think I said that I was going to be doing this in my last vlog but if you don't know what contrast therapy is basically it's when you go from a sauna straight into an ice bath and then you do intervals and go back and forth and it's such a challenge i honestly had no idea how i was going to go because i've done an ice bath once before but i don't even know if it really counts because i kind of just dipped my toes in and then i got out <laughs> so it doesn't really count but yeah i found that so hard that i was like i don't know how i'm gonna go with this but i managed to stay in for the whole three minutes and it's at five degrees like the water's five degrees so it's absolutely freezing and you get fully submerged from like your shoulders down and it was just such a mental challenge you've really got to focus on your breath and i loved it though like you feel so good afterwards i know that having a cold shower cold bath and stuff like really boosts your dopamine levels so i was just really proud of myself and Braden went and did it with me as well so i'm going to include that footage here for you guys to enjoy that just somewhere local in our area it's called rimba sweat it's brand new we tried out their infrared sauna as well and that was really good but this was just like on a whole other level so i'll definitely go back and do that again but anyway welcome back to the vlog i am currently getting ready because i'm gonna go out to an event this morning so one of my friends bronte actually is a florist and she's also one of the talent with my management vibe management and she's hosting a little flower workshop i'm not 100 percent sure actually what it is i'm guessing we get to go along and make our own bouquets i'm pretty sure we will find out when we get there but i'm really excited bronte is an amazing florist her business is called the flower posse in case you guys are wondering but yeah i'm currently getting ready i'm wearing the cutest top right now it's like very fitting for the day i feel like it also just makes me think of Europe like this is such a European summer top has anyone gone and seen the Mamma Mia musical yet because we are still to get tickets but I'm gonna be going with Jesse and Maddie and I just can't wait I'm just like in such a Mamma Mia world at the moment I think because I'm trying to get ready for my trip to Europe it's still like ages away because we're going in September and October but you know we've got to start booking things and everything and I just feel like I'm really in that kind of headspace at the moment and it's just Mamma Mia like represents a European summer to me I'm so excited Anyway, continue playing. happy Saturday I didn't end up filming that much yesterday because after I got back from doing the flower workshop with my management team I actually had my sister come over and we just hung out for a little bit and then I did heaps of laptop stuff so honestly there wasn't that much to film but little recap of yesterday it was so much fun as you will have seen we made our own flower bouquets and I believe my friend Bronte's actually starting 
to do some workshops that people can pay to go to. So if you guys are interested, her business is called The Flower Posse and I just think that's really cool. So if you're wanting to do like a fun like birthday party where you all get to make your own bouquets and take them home, I think that would be a great idea. But yeah, we did that. And then we also had a talk from some people at Instagram and it was a really good day. But it's now the next day and I want to include a little haul in this part of the vlog right now and try on a bunch of the stuff that I recently got from White Fox. I picked up a bunch of stuff that I feel like will be perfect for European summer. As you guys know, I'm going over to Europe, but not until September. So it's a little while away, but it still should be warm when I go. So I was like, you know what? I might as well start collecting pieces now. And honestly, a lot of this stuff I can still wear in winter as well. I just need to layer it up. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this haul. I really, really like a lot of the stuff that I got. My discount code for White Fox is just Ella WF. As always, that will give you 15% off. I'll have all of the items that I picked up in the description box if you guys want to check them out. But hopefully this gives you some good outfit inspiration. So let's get started. First of all, let's just talk about the top that I'm wearing right now. Now I've got this black long sleeve on. I've actually got this in white already. I think I've got it in white and blue and I love them, but I was like, you know what? I've been already wearing them so much. So I'm going to get the black one. They're just skin tight, so nice and warm. Like it's a nice layer that you can wear underneath any sort of jacket. It just goes with so many different things. And I really like the higher neckline, like the higher scoop neckline. And I just feel like this is perfect for this time of year, especially as like we're transitioning because it's like not super thick and warm, but at the same time, you can definitely layer it up. So definitely a staple for winter, even though I just said that I got stuff for European summer, I did actually get some winter stuff too. <laughs> okay, on to top number two. I'm just gonna start off with all of the basics. These are the kind of things that I would just wear on like an everyday basis, but this t-shirt is so nice. Again, it's nice and fitted and it feels super soft. I love the neckline. As you can see, it's super flattering and it just fits me really, really nicely. It's also a really great length, just such a great staple. This color is also super nice. It's like an extremely light gray. Next up, we have this gray t-shirt, which is in a bit more of like a stretchy material. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's much more stretchy, super comfortable. And I really love this light shade of gray. It's a bit more of a high neck line than the last top, but I live in this kind of stuff. I love my basics and yeah, just wearing this with some jeans. It's so effortless, but it still looks so nice. I think this is the final basic that I've got, but it's this dark gray fitted tee again. The thing that's really nice about the White Fox fitted tops is the fact that you can kind of pull them down if you want. Like I had that black one on today and I literally tucked it into my jeans and it looked like a bodysuit, but you can also kind of roll it up and it just holds really nicely if you want it to be a bit more cropped onto the dresses and we're starting off with a really nice one how beautiful is this i'm just imagining getting a photo in this in santorini with like the blue domes i just think it's such a pretty blue dress bear in mind you do have to like unbutton it to get it on there's not like a zipper but it's so nice i love how it kind of like cinches in a little bit around here and flares out but it's definitely not fitted at the same time around the waist it just fits really comfortably it's a really nice length and then if you want to make it a little bit longer you can undo the straps and adjust it and this detailing at the top is just so pretty like what a beautiful dress i love this and the color is this not the cutest most summery dress i love the yellow this just it's like a sunshine honestly this is such a pretty dress i love the strapless moment and actually sits really nicely. Doesn't feel like it's gonna fall down at all. And it just is so flattering around my waist, cinches in really nicely. And then this is what it's like from the back. It's just a little zipper. And this again is just like the perfect summer holiday dress. It's so pretty. Onto another stunning dress. I saw this on the White Fox Instagram and I was like, oh, I have to get that. It looks so good on the model, but you do have to play around with it a little bit with like this area by like tightening it or loosening it. And then you can also adjust this as well. So it's very customizable. And then you also have this like strap around your neck, which you can tighten and loosen as well. So if you want like a bit more support, you can tighten it at the top. This is what it looks like from the back. I love the little frills at the bottom and the ruching down. The dress is just so pretty and is a really nice detail. I'll come a bit closer so you guys can see the details, but this is what it looks like at the top. Now this is really cool. It's actually a blazer and this really nice like 
light gray color but it comes with this like little belt that you can easily take off but you can use it to turn it into a dress like I've done now I actually reckon this outfit would have been so cool for fashion week if I had it then but this is what it looks like as like a blazer dress it's a really nice fabric as well it's quite lightweight but I could just imagine this outfit with some knee high boots being a really cool vibe you probably would want to wear some like little shorts underneath though just just in case the blazer opens, but I'll show you guys what it looks like as a blazer now, but I just wanted to show you it as a dress first. And then this is what the blazer looks like undone without the belt. I feel like it's a really nice way to dress up an outfit. Love this color. I don't have a blazer in this kind of color at all, but it looks really nice with this outfit actually. So I'll take it off and share with you guys the jeans at this top. I've just lowered the camera so you guys can see these jeans, but I think these are like the first pair of low-waisted denim jeans that I've owned. I love them so much, especially with tops like this, like these corsets. It looks really, really nice. I really like the shape of these jeans in particular because as you can see, it kind of like scoops down at the front. So it kind of contours really nicely with this corset. So this is what it looks like from the back. Really, really comfy. I got a size medium in these jeans and they fit perfectly. And then this is the corset, which fits so nicely. I will come up closer so you can see the pattern, but it's just white with these little flowers on it. I just think this is so summery. And like I was saying earlier, you can definitely still wear this in the cooler season as well by just like layering it up with either like a bolero or a blazer or a puffer jacket. I feel like there's so many different ways you can wear this. I also picked up this corset, which I love. It's kind of like a gingham pattern with these little orange flowers on it. I just think it's so pretty. And I, again, love the fact that it kind of scoops up and with low-waisted jeans, I think it looks really cool with like a little bit of skin here. This is what it's like from the back. You could wear this so many different ways, but I love these corsets. This is the final corset that I picked up and I think it might be my favorite one. I wore it yesterday to the event and I think it's so nice. I love the blue little flowers on it. Again, it's got like the gingham print behind the flowers as well, but it's just so cute. There's like a little cutout on the side looks really nice with these jeans as well. Now moving on to the more wintry stuff, I've picked up a few coats and jackets. This is the first one. I picked up another black puffer jacket. My puffer jacket that I wear all the time, I've had for years and honestly, I really need a new one because that one's just been worn to death. So this is the one that I've got. I absolutely love it. I also got the same puffer jacket, but in the cream color as well. This is what this one looks like. It's nice to have two different colors so I can change them up, but the quality feels really nice. And of course, they're super warm. If you watched my last White Fox haul, you might've seen that I picked up a tanned version of this trench coat. I've worn it so much and I've had so many compliments on it when I do wear it. So I decided to get the black one as well because they go with so many outfits and just really dress it up because sometimes it's hard to know like what jacket to wear when you're going out in like a nice outfit. So yeah, I thought a black one was definitely needed. As you can see, it's quite long and there's just so many different ways that you could wear a trench coat like this. So if you haven't got one, this is your sign to add a trench coat into your wardrobe this winter. So this jacket's really cool, very different to anything that I own. It's like a very oversized leather jacket. I definitely could get away with wearing something like thicker and more bulky underneath this since it is so oversized, but this is super cool. I'll come up closer so you can see, but the leather has some like detailing on it. It's almost like snake skin. In a way, it's obviously faux leather as well, but yeah, another jacket to add to the collection. Speaking of faux leather, I also picked up this black little faux leather bag. Super cute. White Fox has so many different bags and accessories on there, not just clothes, in case you were wondering. And the final thing I picked up from White Fox is this white hoodie. I love this. Honestly, the reason why I really wanted a white one <laughs> is because I love wearing hoodies with my active wear to the gym, and I just needed a white one to match the active wear. It's just like a universal color, you know? But yeah, super cozy. I didn't own a white hoodie, so definitely needed one. But that's everything that I got. Remember, if you do want to pick anything up, my discount code is LRWF to get 15% off. I'll have all the info in my description box. I think honestly now I'm going to change into some comfy clothes and watch the rest of the Kardashians. I started it last night and I really want to finish it now because Brayden's out at the moment. So yeah. I think I'm gonna do that.
Good morning. It's now Sunday. Brayden and I did not know what to do today, mm. which is a bit weird for us on a weekend. Too many like, options. We don't know. Yeah, we were like a bit spoiled for choice though. We are like, oh, we actually have nothing we really need to so do. So we ended up doing nothing. Yeah. Well, we do need to do housework to be fair, but we were like, oh, well, we can do that later. You said you were going to do that. Yeah, apparently I am because I think you're going out later. You're going to go help your dad um, with work stuff. But anyway, yeah, we just thought we'd come down to Cronulla, get a coffee and... Honestly, I feel like I haven't filmed that much this weekend. So to kind of bulk up this vlog a little bit, I thought we could do a little Q&A with Brayden because it's been a little while. Well, what? What do it's you mean? It's a Q&A with me. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not just like asking you questions. But we'll just have a chat. <laughs> just have a chat, really. But I mean, nobody else has asked us questions because I haven't put a story up or anything. So honestly, we're just going to sit here and interview each other. Okay. Okay. So first of all, you got time. my first question for you, Brayden, is... Where are you most excited to go on our Europe trip? Where am I most excited? I don't know. I feel like I'm more excited to go to places I've already been at the moment. Because you know you had a good time there last time. Yeah, it'd be fun to show you. And not to say I'm not excited for the places I haven't been, but it's like I haven't been there. So that's sort of like a more of a surprise. So I think like Florence and Rome, like, but I think it's... It would be nice to go back again. So they're the places you've been? Yeah, Florence which at, at the moment, those are places I'm excited to go back to. Yeah. But yeah, I'm excited to also go to Croatia, um, see other places in Italy. Greece would be cool too. Yeah, I know. Well, all of it really, but... Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. Last night, <laughs> I had such a bad sleep because I stayed up until 11 p.m., looking at Europe accommodation. I've become obsessed because obviously I want to try and get it like done ASAP, but I want to find- she does nothing else at the moment. Yeah, all I'm doing is just booking accommodation. But I mean, like, she should be doing other things. She's on a computer looking at accommodation. I feel like I'd be a really good travel agent. Oh, I don't know. I just really enjoy doing this kind of thing. But I also just want to make sure it's like a really fun trip, you know? <laughs> anyway, I stayed up to 11 and I booked our accommodation in Sorrento last night, but then, because I was like on my laptop until late, I was so wired in the night and I was just having TikTok songs go through my head all night. Specifically, the song from ABBA, like the Ah La Summer, that song. And also, um, go into the chapel. <laughs> and we're, I think I saw a TikTok and then that was just stuck in my head all night. So anyway, I'm honestly feeling a bit tired today, which is why I needed this. Mm, she wants a second one, very sure. Yeah, we're going to go and get another coffee in a bit with my mum and dad because my mum and dad have actually just come back from Thailand. They went to, I don't know whether it's Koh Samui or Koh Samoy. Because they oh, say I'm Koh I'm going to say Koh Samui. I don't know that's what I've heard before. That's what I've heard, but then mum and dad keep saying Koh Samoy. I'm not sure. <laughs> but they came back literally this morning so we're gonna go get coffee with them in a little bit as well mm. so you know we'll be fine i'll be fine on my lack of sleep anyway your turn to ask me a question my turn yeah hello i'm gonna like i, I don't want to say the same question you asked me but that's probably the best question to ask you right now okay so where am i most excited to go yeah i think so although that's a boring question because you've already asked me but i feel like that's sort of like an important question hmm. you know where's like the most place you're in the most anticipation to go to Look, that's actually really hard because I feel like I'm excited for every single place that we're going to. Probably more of the coastal places. Like, I'm really excited for Santorini. I'm really excited for Milos. I'm really excited for Cinque Terre. I'm really excited for Lake Como and also Positano, Sorrento. I don't know. I feel is, like they're the places. Is Lake Como coastal? Mm, I don't yeah. know. It's on the lake. I'm really excited for those places for some reason in particular. Yeah. Obviously, it doesn't mean you're not excited for the other places, but what if you're one place you're most eager to go to? I'm going to say Santorini right now just because we've booked our accommodation for Santorini. Okay. And, and I've been in Santorini world because that's the first place we're going to on our trip. Mm. I'm going to ask you a question about the duplex. What is something that you've learned from this whole process of building an investment property? Specifically building, it's not like buying a property that's already pre-made. You gotta sort of remember that. Like, it's not like once you kick everything off, everything's all set to go. Yeah. It's, you've, there's a whole process that goes on behind the scenes. Mm. So it's going, you know, going with the flow a bit with how that sort of process goes. Being patient, but also being um, realistic to it. It will all come together eventually, but. It's not a now thing. Yeah. That's what you gotta remember. Yeah. Specifically building, though. Yeah. Okay. Next. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Um, are you sad you're not going to be able to see your family this time around for now Europe trip? Oh, technically the UK is not in Europe <laughs> anymore. But no, obviously I would love, love, love to see them. But we only have a certain amount of time on our trip. Mm. And I saw them last year and I kind of want to go and have like a holiday. Like every time I've gone over that way, I've always gone back That's to the UK. Felt, yeah. That's I've always felt. done that in the past. And I love it, but like I don't have to do that every single time. And if we had more time, I probably would go over, but like we only have a certain mm. amount of time with your annual leave. Great answer. Thanks. <laughs> Is there anything you want to do before the end of the year? Anything you want to try? Or oh, similar to like your acting, how you're like, that's something I want to do, I want to try it. Oh. Is there anything similar in that sense that you're like, before the end of the year, I want to try this at least? Like something completely new. Yeah. You don't have I to mean, have like, anything, but like... I, I've got things I want to do, but I don't know if they're completely new. But say by the end of the year, is there something you want to do or even like bring back in regards to like, it's something you haven't done in a while, but you want to start doing or I don't know, but by the end of the year. Oh, it's so hard because I feel like my brain goes to business stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like things that I want to do like with my business. Yeah, no, not business. Like personal stuff. So hard because everything's kind of intertwined with that. Oh, maybe I could say run like a half marathon or something. A half marathon, 26 kilometers. Yeah, maybe not. Is it 26? Maybe 10. You want to <laughs> run 10 kilometers? Maybe running 10 kilometers. Like, oh. a, like a race or something? Yeah. I'd like to do a race. Mm. Without stopping? Oh. Yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd go to a music festival. Like a really fun music festival. <laughs> You've gone from acting to running to a music festival. I don't know. I haven't been to a music festival in a really long time. I kind of want to go to Splendor this year, but it's on your birthday. Yeah, I'll ask if I want to go. I said no. <laughs> yeah, I'm not missing your birthday, obviously. Because your birthday is the 22nd of July and Splendor, you can only get a three-day pass, apparently. You can't even go for just, like, one day. Because I was like, oh, I could maybe go on the 21st. They used to do day passes, didn't they? I don't know, but I liked the idea of the lineup for the first day because they had Lizzo, and I thought that'd be fun. Yeah, I don't know if Lizzo's your <laughs> vibe, but um, yeah, and I was like, I can come back. Or, you know, we could do a trip to Byron for your birthday. Oh, yay. <laughs> <laughs> so I like that idea, but I don't think I'll do that this year. I'm going to say that I'd like to run a 10K. You'd like to run a 10K by the end of the year? Yeah. Actually, well, there you go. maybe we everyone. should do Sutherland to surf. Wait, this has become a way. Yeah. It's gone from me to way. Yeah. There's a, <laughs> there's a run that happens in the Shire every single year. And it's usually on your birthday as well, it but is, it's yeah. not this year. It's not on your birthday. It's soon. Maybe we should do Sutherland to surf. How maybe. many Ks is that? Like, that's like eight, I is think, it? I think it's about 10. Yeah, almost 10. Yeah. I think it is 10. Okay. Maybe that's what I'll do. You want to do Sutherland to surf and you don't want to stop? Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping it's downhill. I feel like the not stopping part that's like an important part. Like anyone could run 10 kilometers if you stop as many times as you like. Yeah. Okay, my, my turn. I want to ask you the same question. What's something you want to do before the end of the year? Uh, I've been lately, I don't know if I will or not, but I've been thinking of maybe doing like boxing or Muay Thai. Oh, I didn't know this. Well, like I still want to do Jiu Jitsu, but like just for a little bit. Yeah. But I don't know if I will, but even just for like a few months or something. What do you like the sound of better, boxing or Muay Thai? Maybe we can go do boxing together. Would you want to do boxing? I'd do boxing. Yeah. I don't know if Muay Thai I'm as interested in that, but mm. I'd do boxing. Yeah? I don't know, maybe we could do like a Saturday class or something. Go do boxing once a week yeah. or twice a week or something? Yeah. Brayden and I have been like really loving doing things like that together lately, mm. I feel like, because we've been going um, and doing saunas in the evening and, well, we've gone running a couple oh have we been once i think we i've been once. with you once yeah yeah i don't know we've been trying to like do more <laughs> activities and stuff together because mm. we feel like that's really good for our relationship yeah but it's like a nice way to sort of uh rest and sort of just a bit of downtime as well during the week yeah together yeah without, like you know We've been trying to like find a hobby that we can do together for a while though, hey, because I think that's really important to do together as a couple, like have something that we can bond over. Like obviously you and I can talk about anything, like we talk and talk and talk, but like it's sometimes nice to share an experience We together. don't have to talk. Yeah, like do something together, which mm -hmm. we can both bond on and work towards. Yeah. Um, so that's why we've been 
enjoying doing little like physical activity things, but you would love for me to do jujitsu, but I'm just not, I'm not. It's oh, not that I would it. love you to do jujitsu. I feel like it'd be good for. I think Ella. I'm about like a nine and I'd be a 10 if I did jujitsu. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'd be good for you. Like regardless of what I think, I think you'd actually, Yeah. it's like not even just, it's good fitness, but also it's a good, uh, I guess any sort of martial art or something. It's just a good skill to have and it gives you confidence too. Yeah, Brayden's always said that. He's like, I think you should do a martial art because sometimes I'll like say to him, oh, I'm scared about this. And he's like, well, if you did a martial art, like maybe you wouldn't be so scared. Yeah. And I, I actually, I really do, do agree with you, but I don't know. I just, it doesn't appeal to me in the same way. But my thought is, well, what, it'll appeal to you after the fact when maybe you needed to know a martial art? I know, but I don't want to live you... my life in fear at the same time. That's the whole do point it... of doing it, though, right? Well, I don't want to live my life, like, doing something for just in case. That's why you do it for you. It's not for I know, just yeah, in case. Yeah, I guess that's, you've got to switch your mindset around it. So maybe we can look <laughs> at doing boxing. You're going to do boxing together? Yeah, like find a Saturday class or something. Is it cool? Yeah, I know someone we can maybe Okay. Do. do you think I seem different to when we first started dating? Like, do you think I've changed? Yeah, but not like you haven't changed, but I think you've changed in like certain ways, maybe to your confidence, maybe to other things like that. Yeah. How? In, in like, in good ways. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, you've become more confident in yourself. I think, like, you've, um, you know, you've got a bit more belief in yourself as well. Not that you didn't before, but I mean, I think you sort of, you know, you're confident in yourself much more now. So in all the best ways. Aww. Yeah, obviously, I guess you change. It's been seven years, but like... Yeah, but I feel like you've definitely worked on it too. It's not something like it's just one day you've woken up. I feel like you've you've gone through some things and it's like that's... But in the end, you've sort of... It's made you... As I said, not Resilient? In, is that what you're trying to say? Resilient as well. But I mean, it's all like all that. But yeah. just in regards to it's not something that's just happened as well. It's like you've gone to the effort of actually Aww. doing this stuff yourself. Yeah, I'd say so. Aw. Okay, well... That's it for our little Q&A section. Hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Very random. I just kind of felt like I needed to kind of add a bit more substance into this vlog, if I'm honest. But we are now going to go home, chuck my jumper in the wash because I spilled coffee on it. Then it's we're going to head to... Oh, I think I don't think we'll go to my family's. I think we'll just meet them at coffee. I think so too. Get our second coffee and we'll see where the day takes us. Yeah. It's now the next day. I've just finished editing this vlog and I didn't really film as much as I'd hoped to this weekend. I've got a lot of footage, but it's just kind of like random clips. And I feel like I didn't really show exactly what I got up to because honestly, I just spent a lot of time relaxing this weekend, which was quite good. So my family got back from their holiday and yesterday I went round to their place and just pretty much spent the whole afternoon catching up with them and as you guys heard as well, I was feeling pretty overtired yesterday. So yeah, I didn't really vlog too much, but I hope you guys enjoyed the footage that I did get. If you did enjoy this vlog, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.